Hello my dears. In this class we are going to discuss about properties of integers. In the previous classes we were studying the rules for multiplication and division of integers. Now we can start properties of integers. We have discussed the properties of whole numbers in your 6th standard. I hope you all are thorough with that properties. First property of integers is closure property. Second one is commutative property. Third one associative property. And the last one is distributive property. So today we can discuss the closure property of addition. Closure property of subtraction. Closure property of multiplication. Then closure property of division on integer set. Okay. So we can start with closure property of integers. For that closure under addition. That is does the integer set satisfy closure under addition. That, for that do you remember what is the what are the numbers in integer set. This is the number line and I have marked integers on this number line. So 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 etc minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 etc these are the numbers on the integer set so i am taking this integer set as a basket so i have drawn a basket here and i am going to write all the numbers inside this basket 0 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus y plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6. So just imagine that all integers are inside this basket. Okay. So closure property says that take any numbers from this basket and Find the sum of those numbers and then we will get an answer. That answer should also be in this basket. Now I am taking two numbers minus 3 and plus 5. Minus 3 plus 5. Now we are dealing with closure under addition. So find the sum of these two numbers. Okay. So, plus 2 is the sum of these two numbers. Can you see plus 2 here in this basket? Here, you can see plus 2 here. We selected these two numbers from this basket and find its sum. Answer also is here. Then take any other numbers. Minus 5 and minus 3. Minus 5, minus 3. We are doing closure under addition. So here operation should be addition. So minus 5 plus minus 3 equal to minus 8. We can include minus 8 also inside this basket. Why? Minus 8 is again an integer. So you can see the answer is here itself. So take one more number. 0 and plus 4. Since we are doing closure under addition, operation should be sum. 0 plus 4. Plus 4. Here you can see the answer. Answer is also in this basket. Okay. Take any numbers from this set. Find its sum. The answer will also be in this set itself. So you can say that. So you can say that integers satisfy closure property under addition. So did you understand the meaning of closure property? I will explain the definition once again. Sum of any integer is again an integer. See, these two were integers and its sum is plus 2 is again an integer. This property is known as closure property of addition of integers. You can explain this definition in another way. A, B are integers. 
so here you can write a and b and then a plus b find it sum find the sum of a and b this is again an integer then next we can deal with closure and the subtraction okay for that operation is subtraction so take any two numbers from this integer set what is the set integer set integer set is marked by i take any two numbers from this integer set so select any two numbers in your mind so i am selecting minus 3 and minus 5 what should be the operation here what we are going to check closure under subtraction so subtraction should be the operation so minus 3 minus minus 5 should be changed into addition minus 3 plus plus 5 equal to plus 2 answer is plus 2 you can see the answer here so whatever numbers we will take from the set and find its difference then the answer will also be in the set we can check one more example minus minus 8 and one more number plus 3 what should be the operation operation should be subtraction because we are checking with closure under subtraction so minus 8 plus minus 3 equal to minus 11 here i can write down minus 11 why minus 11 is again an integer so i will explain the definition once again closure under subtraction difference of any integer so a and b imagine that a and b are the integers difference of any integer is again an integer a minus b will also be an integer this property is known as closure property of subtraction of integers a comma b are integers then a minus b is again and integer so the third one is closure under multiplication we are going to check that does the integer set is closure under multiplication what should we do take any two numbers from this integer set and find find closure under multiplication means find its product so take any two numbers 7 and positive 7 and negative 1 find the product what will be the product plus into minus minus 7 can you see minus 7 here see you can see minus 7 here so answer is also in this integer set okay then take one more number minus 2 then minus 3 find the product of these two numbers what will be the product minus into minus plus 2 into 3 6 you can see 6 here so as a homework you just take any numbers from this integer set and find the product you can see that answer will also be in the set itself so we can definitely say that integer set satisfy closure under multiplication so i will define closure under multiplication once again product of any integer product of any integer from this integer set is again an integer this property is known as closure property of addition of integers we can define it once again a comma b are integers here you can write a and b a comma b are integers then the product a into b is again an integer 
Next, we are going to check closure and division. What should be the process? Take any two numbers from this integer set. That is uh, minus 4 and minus 8. Divide these two numbers. Equal to minus 4 divided by minus 8. Minus divided by minus plus 1 by 2. You can't see plus 1 by 2 in this set. Okay, that's why we can say that this integer set does not satisfy closure under division. Take one more number. Minus 8. Take the same numbers. Minus 8 and minus 4. Divide these two numbers. Then we will be getting minus 8 divided by minus 4 equal to plus 2. So plus 2 is here. So sometimes the answer will be in this set. Sometimes you can't see the answer in this set. Integer set does not satisfy closure under division. So, I can define it like this. A, comma B are integers. Then, A by B will not be an integer. Always. Sometimes it may be an integer. Sometimes it may not. Okay. Today, we have studied integer set satisfies closure property under addition. Integer set satisfies closure property under subtraction. Then, Integer set satisfy closure property under multiplication. But integer set does not satisfy closure property under division. So here I can write down. Yes, it satisfies closure property under addition. Here, yes. What is the meaning of yes? It satisfies closure property under subtraction. Then again, yes. What is the meaning? Integer set satisfies closure property under multiplication. Then, here I will write no. What is the meaning of no? Integer set does not satisfy closure property under division. Okay. I hope you enjoyed my class. If you have any doubt about this topic, Please ask to me through comment box. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe and support me. Signing off, Amy Bijoy from Max Ninjas. Thank you all.